Lucretia Mott, a well-known women's rights and civil rights activist, was born on January 3, 1793, and died on November 11, 1880. She played a key role in early feminism and equal rights in the 1800s. She was born Lucretia Coffin in Nantucket, Massachusetts, and was raised in a Quaker community. Lucretia attended Quaker boarding school in New York State, where she stayed and became a teaching assistant. While at the school, Mott met her future husband, James Mott, a Quaker leader, educator, and merchant who also was an activist in the matters of women's rights and anti-slavery. James was also raised a Quaker and later became a teacher. The couple married on April 10, 1811 and lived in Philadelphia. They had six children together and after losing her first son, Thomas, when he was two years old, Lucretia's spirituality deepened and she joined the Quaker ministry in 1818. Deepening her roots in the Quaker community helped increase Mott's pacifist beliefs and pushed her to participate in many anti-war and anti-violence movements. Her Quaker beliefs also encouraged her anti-slavery notions and increased her role as an abolitionist. In 1833, Mott helped form the Philadelphia Female Anti-Slavery Society and served as president of the organization. Though this position provided her with an active role in the abolition movement, Lucretia's contributions were often ignored by her male counterparts in the community. When she was denied a seat on the 1840 World Anti-Slavery Convention in London because of her gender, Mott stood outside the conference hall and preached about gender equality during the meeting. Lucretia's views on women's rights can be summed up in her inspirational world, words, the world has never yet seen a truly great and virtuous nation because in the degradation of women, the very foundations of life are poisoned at their source. She was also the founder and president of Northern Association for the Relief and Employment of Poor Women in Philadelphia, which was founded in 1846. Furthering her participation in the movement for gender equality, Mott befriended Elizabeth Cady Staten in the mid to late 1840s, and together they organized the launching of the women's rights movement in 1848 during the first annual women's rights convention held in Seneca Falls, New York. Lucretia was elected president of the organization in 1852. Mott was an influential mentor to Staten, who continued her work after Mott died. As part of the women's rights movement, Mott wrote and delivered the Discourse on Women on November 17, 1849. It was a pamphlet outlining the restrictions placed on women in arguing for equal economic opportunities, such as equal pay for equal work and political stance, including suffrage. Mott was also a large supporter of education. Spurred by her own Quaker education in New York, in 1864 she and a group of Quakers founded Swarthmore College, located near Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. As a pacifist Quaker, Mott was horrified by the violence in the Civil War but rejoiced that it brought an end to slavery. She immediately began to protest the use of the word male in the 14th Amendment to qualify voters, arguing a need for suffrage for all, including women. Unlike many other abolitionists, after the Civil War, Lucretia believed that the battle for equal rights was not yet over and continued to fight for rights of blacks and women, serving as head of the American Equal Rights Association until 1868, when she resigned due to controversial actions made by Susan B. Anthony and Elizabeth Cady Staten. Lucretia Mott continued to support and fight for equal rights until she died peacefully of pneumonia in her home in Pennsylvania. 